Well, hello. I'm Greg Schuf. Uh, used to be pastor of Cornerstone Baptist Church in Rwanda until, of course, Rwanda closed that illegally. Another video on that. I also had uh, Amazing Grace Christian Radio, and we're here today to give some information about how the radio was closed. This is part two. Uh, the first part was talking about uh, RMC, Rwanda Media Commission. This is now talking about Rura and their part in illegally closing down a Christian radio uh, in Rwanda. So, uh, for the background, you have to go to the other video for RMC. But uh, most of you know what's happened. Um, there was a pastor had a message that was controversial, and because of that, RMC, uh, well, they didn't investigate. They gave the order to shut down the radio. Now it came over to Rura. And what did Rura do? Rura, uh, Rwanda Utilities Regulation Regulatory Authority, something like that. Anyway, what did Rura do to shut down a radio? Now, I said before, RMC did some very bad things. Honestly, Rura did even worse in, in what they have done. Um, they simply took the decision from RMC, and in the other video I say there was no real investigation, but they simply took that decision and put it into action. That's what Rura did. No checking uh, whatsoever. They just, boom, put it into action. And so they came up with an order. And, of course, they had no hearing uh, before they closed our radio to see what happened. Zero. Um, they simply gave an order to a few things. Number one, to pay for me to pay a $2 million franc fine. And, as I said later, if that was, that, that is not the reason our radio was sh shut down uh, permanently. Because I, I said to them, I'll, I'll pay the two million. That's, that's not the problem. Okay, so let's go to the next thing. The other thing was, they said to close the radio in 12 hours. And I was planning to do that. They did not even give me 12 hours to close the radio. They got in such a rush. Anyway, um, then the third thing was to apologize for Nicholas. Now here is the problem. Um, before all of the situation with RMC and Rura, I took one week on my radio and apologized for the misunderstanding of his sermon. One week continually playing that message. But unfortunately... That apology was not good enough for Rura because they wanted me to condemn him in front of all the people of Rwanda. And as I said, I'm not going to do that. I will not condemn an innocent man because you have to understand, and especially you got to watch the RMC video. There was no hearing uh, to determine if Pastor Nicholas was guilty or innocent. No court case and no discussion whatsoever to see if his sermon was good or bad. Nothing. Nothing whatsoever. And yet, Rura comes to me and says, uh, you have to apologize. Now, as I explained to them, uh, apology, in, you have to first point out what he did wrong. And I'm sorry, I told him, I'm not, I'm not going to condemn him in front of all the people of Rwanda. I will not do that. He has had no hearing, no court case, no discussion whatsoever. How, how do you want me to condemn a man that is innocent and not proven guilty? Now, there's a few things here. First of all, you have to understand, people in Rwanda, the, the Constitution says clearly, they are innocent until proven guilty guilty. Plain and simple. Where is the hearing to discuss what happened with his sermon? It doesn't exist. There was no hearing to discuss what he's talked about. Nothing. You understand that? There was a fake hearing at RMC where again I said, give me two days. We are not ready. But after that, no discussion. He's guilty because they say he's guilty. 
And again, they took things out of context in a very wrong way. Now, um, the other reason I'm not going to condemn him, because the, the ninth commandment in the Bible says, Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. I do not believe that Nicholas uh, is guilty. He, he was misunderstood. But now, you want me to condemn a man who has had no trial, no ability to, de to defend himself, and yet I'm supposed to condemn him in front of all the people of Rwanda? No, I will not do that. I love my Bible too much, and I love justice too much to condemn an innocent man. Do you understand? And then third, even if um, Nicholas was guilty, how is it possible that Rura can force me to condemn a man against my will? Doesn't the uh, Rwanda Constitution say that we have freedom of speech? Isn't that the truth? Even freedom to believe something, e even if it's wrong? It's my right to condemn or not to condemn, if you understand. So, if they wanted me to simply pay the fine, okay, I would have done it. But they wanted me to condemn a man who has had no opportunity to defend himself. That is why the radio was shut down. But then also, uh, since that time, Rura has continued to act illegally and after the radio was closed, I could not even go to my own personal property up on Mount Jotty. You know, my property. You know, it's in the, uh, the area where the radio towers are up on the very top. And, of course, you have to go through a checkpoint, um, through the military checkpoint to get to the property. Rura gave the order to block me from stepping one foot on my property. Where is that in the, in the laws of Rwanda? That's wrong. That's illegal. You can't do that. My soul. And even, I mean, for months, I, I could not go there. Finally, when, after about three months, um, so I, I called some good people in um, RDF, and they, they took care of it, and I'm happy for that. But three months of blocking me from going to my own property? That's uncalled for. Anyway, I hope you understand a little bit of, of what has happened. You know, this is, this is a travesty that somebody picks one little thing out of a message and blows it up into something so terrible. Now, in, if, if you have watched the news, you would probably think I'm a bad man. If I watched the news, I would say, wow, who is that Pastor Shoof? He, he needs to be punished. I would say that also. But why do you say that? Because freedom of speech does not exist in Rwanda. That is why I, am been con I have been condemned wrongly. So anyway, that's what happened. We're still going to court. Hopefully, um, things finish up one of these days. We're now at the, just below the Supreme Court level, whatever that is. Uh, hopefully, they follow the law and you know, because what, what has happened here is just wrong. You know, at Amazing Grace Christian Radio, we do not condemn people wrongly. We follow facts and figures and do things right. We do not, we do not just uh, condemn and bash women. That's wrong. And for to be accused of that is, is a crime. And that's why we're at court. Hopefully this helps you to understand. Back it up. Rewind it. Play it again to make sure it, you get everything I said. All right? But the whole thing comes down to, do I condemn an innocent man who has had no opportunity to defend himself? That is why we lost the radio. Thank you for your prayers. God bless you. Bye-bye.